everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads, and today I'm gonna show you just a cute little take on the Morse code bracelet. So we have our new tubelet beads that are a nice cylinder shape, and I thought I'd use those with some memory wire to show you how to make your own message bracelet. If you need any of the materials, you can look in the links below the video in the description to purchase from us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually, after I have cut my memory wire, and I have about four turns, this is the smaller uh, 1.25 of the memory wire. You can use whichever size you want. It will keep its shape, that's the idea of it. And you can make it as long as you want, depending on how many letters or how many words you wanna say. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn over the end. I have a round nose pliers here, and I'm going to, it's pretty brittle, so it's a little bit hard to turn, make that nice kind of turn loop. This is gonna act as a stop for my beads so that they don't fall off. And then also I'll probably end up putting a little charm or something hanging from the end just to decorate it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is use my tubelet beads and some eight OC beads as my dots and my dashes. The nice thing with memory wire is it's pretty thin. It's about 20 gauge um, in the strand of gauges. And I'm gonna separate out my letters with some pewter spacers. And I have some 50, or 11 OC beads in the Crystal Lab Fool that those are gonna work as my beads to separate out my actual letters in my words. So I thought that I would do the words uh, forever and all always. So it's going to be a series of, because it's that Morse code, that dots and that dashes. I have to start out my dot, dot, dash, dot for my F and then O, dash, dash, dash. So again, I'm going to go in and basically start out with a couple of my 11 O seed beats and these are just going to get me started. So I'm going to use the 11 O's to space out between my letters of my words. You can spin them the whole way down or you can just kind of force them down there. So I'm going to put five elevens on and then I'm going to start my words. My words are going to begin and end with some of my little spacers. So I'm going to have two spacers that I put on and then between each of my letters I will add another one of my spacers. So there's my two spacers and now I want to get on the word forever. So I'm gonna pour out a couple of my 8 OC beads and you really can use kind of whatever. I just thought this was a really cute take on the tubelets. Ooh, and then we're gonna pour them all over and get out some of these tubelets in Aztec gold. So for the letter F, I need dot, dot, dash, dot. So there's my dot, there's my dash. Oops, sorry, two dots, a dash, and then one more dot. If you keep me, seeing me look over, it's because I needed to cheat there. So that's my first letter of my word. I'm gonna go in and then and put in one of my spacers. And now I need my O, so I need three dashes. One, two, and three. My next letter is an R. I'm gonna put in one of my spacers. And the R is gonna be dot, dash, dot. So there's a dot then a dash, and then a dot. Done with the R, on to the E. The E is really nice and easy because it is just a dot. So all I have to put on is that spacer, then my one dot for a dot, and a spacer for the end of the E. My V is dot, 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 dash. So I'll go into this and do one, two, three dots. One of my dashes and that ends my V. I've got another E coming up. That's the easiest, it's just one dot. Put in that spacer between so I know where my letters, kind of the dots and dashes end and begin. And then to end on my R, I have a dot, dash, dot. Now I'm done with my first word, so I'm gonna go in and add two of my spacers, and then again, separate it out with some of the 11 O seed beads. I started off with five, so I'll separate out with five again, adding in all of, whoops, adding in these 11 O's onto the memory wire. You can see I'm not really pushing the beads down on the memory wire, they will naturally do that, but in between each word if you want to, or every couple little beads, you can go ahead and push them down to the bottom of that coil if you want. After I have those five seed beads on, that's gonna separate out. You can see it's kind of that hidden code. 
can go ahead and twist them down on the memory wire down to that loop right along the end of the piece. And again, the cool thing is you can make it as long as you want, as short. You can do it on regular beading wire. I thought the memory wire would be fun because I can add words if I want to. And now I have to do the word and. So again, I'm going to do my two spacers to get my word started. And then my A is a dot and a dash. And then my one spacer between my letters. My N is the opposite, a dash then a dot. And if you want to, you can separate out your dashes and your dots with 11 OC beats also. And then again, on to a D. So I know that I'm going to put in one of my spacers to separate out my letters. And my D is a dash dot dot. So I add a tublet bead and then two of my 8 OC beads to do my dots. Then I need to pour out a couple more of my spacers to end my word and then do some 15 OC beads to start it again. It's kind of a cool take on, again, that kind of secret hidden message. It's a really great gift idea too. And you can spell out whatever you want. You can do it a multitude of colors or you can do it a little bit more of that um, metallic colors like I'm doing here. Remember, once you're finished your piece, you can go in and you can add in extra words if you want to. Uh, charms make a really great ending for the memory wire if you are doing it on the memory wire. And it's fun to just kind of play around and again, have almost that secret hidden message that you can pass on to a loved one or a friend or just a fun inspirational quote or message for yourself too. Go ahead in then with your high tech wire cutters or in with your, um, with your, pliers that you know that you can get a little bit mauled up there with that memory wire. Cut off any extra loops or links that you may have. Go ahead in on the other end here. Do the same thing, turning over and making a loop. And I did give myself a little bit of room. I don't want it too tight that my beads don't move around. You want to make sure you get that nice and closed so your 11 OC beads don't kind of come up along there. If you need to, sometimes you can even go in with your needle nose pliers and kind of press along that ends. From here, if you want to add any charms on, any links, little hearts, little sayings, little crosses, or like I said, anything kind of inspirational, you can do that. Add a little tassel on the end, even if you want, by opening up that loop that you just closed, sliding on whatever you need to, closing it up, and having your bracelet brie completed. Again, all different messages from the C, from the heart that you can add in as a cute little idea. Keep in mind also there are numbers in the Morse code. So if you are going with that Morse code theme, you can also do phone numbers, things for kids to remember if you wanna teach them how to do that as well. But for mine, forever and always, here is a cute idea on that hidden message, secret message Morse code bracelet. Thanks so much everyone for watching. It's fun to have those little hidden codes and hidden messages anywhere that you want to wear them on the jewelry. Keep in mind you can also use this as a little hidden message and code if you want to do some stamping as well. It's a fun little secret code that you can teach kids that you can make jewelry out of and have that little hidden treasure amongst it. Again, the tublets I think and the 80C beads are really great uses of the dots and dashes. You can also check out for a little bling some of the crystal cylinders as well as crystal rounds to get that in there. And keep in mind those 11 O's work out great as spacers. With all the videos, comment below what you're going to spell out in your Morse code vase, as well as give a little thumbs up for the video. You can also, sub also subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates from us when we go live, have new videos, new tutorials, fun ideas, and episodes to help you become a better beauter. As always, thanks so much for watching and enjoy making your own hidden message jewelry and your Morse code bracelet.